Hello, this review is on Jewel Quest 2 for the iPhone. It's currently $1.99. It's about a 4.8 megabyte download. It's basically a Jewel type game. Uh, what's different is that each maze, as you progress, is different than just a simple square or rectangle. Uh, they have different shapes. And you're also trying to uh, change the background of each square or each block. So uh, let's just start a new game. There's a story mode here. Touch the line to continue. So alright, so this looks like Bejeweled. So let's play. Alright, and you see how it changed the background to yellow. We want to change all the brown background to yellow or gold to continue to the next level. And before your timer down here it runs out. I like to focus on the on the bottom and work my way up. Let's see. All right, we completed that level. All right, let's just continue on. You could read all that if you want, are interested in the story. And now you see the maze is a little different, and they introduce coins. So what you want to do is try to get three coins together, and that will put you a coin down at the bottom here. And those coins are kind of like a wild card where if you're stuck you can use the coin to clear that space so we have one coin let's say we can't get anything to match with this one so you highlight it hit the gold coin here and it just cleared that space for you so it comes in handy in the more advanced rounds All right, we gotta focus here, and let's work over here a little bit. Hmm. Oh, where is it? I thought I was done that round. It's right up here. Oh, this coin over here. Didn't see that one. There we go. So we completed that level. Now I'll show you one more screen. All right, and again, it's a different pattern. Same object. Further down the in the game, instead of just changing the colors once, you have to change each block twice. So it does get quite a bit harder than in the the patterns are a lot harder also so if you like Bejeweled this game for $1.99 is actually a, a lot of fun uh, if you like that kind of game I think you can't go wrong with this